In this exercise, we're going to be exploring data shortcuts. Now, what is the purpose of Civil 3D's data shortcuts? Well, throughout the plan production process, many people could be in different drawings at different times. And when you have different Civil 3D objects that are in different drawings, then you have the opportunity to be able to work on several things at the same time, making the workflow process more and more efficient when you're creating construction drawings. Now, in this exercise, we're going to be exploring data shortcuts to create an existing grade surface that will be referenced into another drawing. And the way that we go about doing that is that currently I'm in the 01 data shortcut existing surface drawing. And this drawing has a survey that has polylines that have elevations assigned to it, such as this one. This polyline has an elevation of 60. But what I'll do is I'll create an existing grade surface by clicking on surfaces, then right clicking and click create surface. I'm going to type in EG for existing grade surface, then click OK. And the way that I'll generate this surface is by definition, and that definition will be my polylines, my polyline contours. So I need to go to the Home tab, and I need to, I need to isolate those contours. I'll zoom in, I'll isolate the 60, and I'll isolate the 59, because those are on separate layers. I'll press Enter to isolate these objects. Then what I'll do is I'll go into Contours, right click, and select Add. I'm going to click OK and then select all of my contours. Then press Enter. Could take some time for things to process. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and restore your layers. And now we have a surface. You can see that we have a tin surface in our properties tab right here. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a reference of this surface within a data shortcuts folder. However, we don't have a, a data shortcuts folder set up yet. So the way that we do that is I'm going to escape out of this. I'm going to go down till I get to the data shortcuts area. And currently you see a couple of brackets that are enclosed in kind of like an empty space. What we need to do is select the data shortcuts, right click, and select set working folder. Go ahead and navigate to your tutorials folder and then create a new folder. We're going to call this underscore shortcuts. Then press enter. And then select folder. Next, we need to right click once more. Then select new data shortcuts project folder. Then we get our new data shortcut folder dialog box. We need to specify a name for our project. Let's call this pond design. Then click OK. Now you'll see if I expand the tool space a little bit more, there's actually a file path associated within those brackets that were originally empty. Next, we need to right click and create a data shortcut. And since we only have our existing grade surface listed as a data shortcut, we'll go ahead and select it, then click OK. If we scroll down here, you'll see that if we expand the surfaces, our existing grade now shows within our data shortcuts folder. So congratulations, you just created a data shortcut.